Hey everyone, I'm David Bomble, and in this video I'm going to show you how to download Cisco Viral Images and images from Cisco.com. One of the questions that I get asked the most often is how do I get Cisco iOS images? How do I get Cisco Viral Images? There's also a lot of misunderstanding and a lot of so-called fake news when it comes to Cisco iOS images. I've been told again recently that Cisco Viral images are not downloadable from Cisco.com. That's untrue at the time of this recording. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download Cisco Viral images, and I'll also show you how to download Dynamips images for use in GNS3. GNS3 supports many types of devices. So under routers as an example, under available appliances, you can see various Cisco routers, including Cisco IOS V. Cisco IOS V uses viral images. So if you wanna add this device to your GNS3 topologies, you need a Cisco IOS V viral image. This device is a Cisco Dynamips router. So you'd need a 7200 Cisco IOS image to import this device into your GNS3 topologies. When it comes to switches, one of the best switches that you can get is a Cisco IOS V Layer 2 switch. So under Available Appliances, you'll see Cisco IOS V Layer 2 listed as an available device. There are also other devices such as Cisco Nexus OS V. Now let me make a very important point right now. Some vendors such as Arista make their operating system available for free. So do Cumulus. But Cisco don't do that. If you want to add a Cisco image to your GNS3 topologies, such as iOS V Layer 2, or going back to routers, such as iOS V, you need to provide your own images. Neither I nor GNS3 are legally allowed to provide you with images. You either need to download those images directly from the vendor site, so from Arista or Cumulus or Cisco, or you need to provide your own images by taking an image from a physical router that you own. So as an example, if you have a Cisco 3745 router, you could download the image from that device and then import it into GNS3. I would love to give you images, but that's not legally allowed. So once again, neither I nor GNS3 are allowed to give you images, you need to download the operating systems for your devices from the vendor websites themselves. I can't give them to you. You need to get them from Cisco.com or Arista or Juniper or Cumulus and so forth and so on. But let me show you right now how to download images from Cisco.com. Let's look at viral images first. To download Cisco viral images, go to viral.cisco.com so simply browse to viral.cisco.com and then you'll be able to download images from the Cisco website. Now this does require that you have a viral license. There's a cost associated with this. This is worth it, I think, because you get a lot of operating systems. You'll get iOS V as an example, which is a router image. iOS V layer two, which is a switching image. You get XR, Nexus, CSR1000, and ASAV. Most people will want a router image, a switching image, and a firewall image, and you get to those as part of your viral subscription. Viral devices are the recommended devices in GNS3, and you can access all of the images by purchasing a viral license. So click on Get a Viral, and then you can purchase a viral license for $200 a year. Now, unfortunately, there's a cost involved here. Again, I would love to give you the images for free, but that's not legally allowed. You need to purchase your own viral license, which then gives you access to all the images. Now, some people will tell you that you can simply use Cisco iOS images in Dynamips. In other words, you can use images such as 3725 or Cisco 3745 router images. Now you can do a lot with these older images. Dynamips images, however, are outdated. 
for most platforms you can only get 12.4 you won't be able to get version 15. if you want a version 15 you need to use a 7200 series image so the first disadvantage of dynamips images is that you have to use 7200 series images if you want to get ios 15. all the other platforms are end of life so again it's recommended that you use viral images such as ios v another problem you'll encounter is that the only images that you can download from cisco.com at the moment are 7200 series images the other images such as 3725s, 3745s, 2600s and so forth have been removed from cisco.com so again it's strongly recommended that you use cisco viral images because number one all other dynamips images except for 7200s only give you ios version 12.4 you won't be able to download any of the images from cisco.com except for the 7200s the other images have been removed from cisco.com another major problem is that these older images don't support advanced switching if you want to use advanced switching in gns3 you need a viral ios v layer 2 image so as an example you need this image if you want to use ether channels in your gns3 topologies you want to run advanced spanning trees such as a rapid pvst plus and many other layer 2 advanced features you can run basic switching using cisco dynamips images you could put an ether switch module into a cisco router as an example so you could use a 3725 or 3745 router and insert a ether switch module into the router to give you basic switching but it's very limited so again these images are outdated you can't download them from cisco.com and they don't support advanced switching so it's really recommended again that you get viral images rather than dynamips images